The richest, most secularly educated, most secure, most sophisticated Jewish community in the history of the Jewish people has produced the most abysmally illiterate and unconnected Jewish community in the history of the Jewish people. That's just a fact. As my grandmother would say, das ist nicht nur MS, das ist a fact. Right? <laughs> it's just true. It's just true. And therefore, I leave you with the following thought. We have to stop this. And it's going to take bold steps. Little band-aids are not going to work. I mentioned before that we've had a similar problem in Israel, believe it or not. It's not for tonight. But we're trying to get the Shalem Center to do something really bold, really brave, really out of the box, really radical, because little tweaks is not going to do the job. And the same thing is true here. Little tweaks are not going to do the job. We have to rethink American Jewish education. We have to make sure that there is stuff on the internet, because that's all that matters these days, to make sure that every Jewish kid out there is bombarded with stuff that tells the truth as much as they are bombarded with all the garbage that seeks to put us in the dust heap of history also. There's a tremendous amount that needs to be done. But at the end of the day, it is really, I hate to say it, but it's about education. We Jews, I know, we believe that education solves everything. How should you stop Jews from getting the common cold in winter? More education. How should you stop middle-aged Jewish men from being out of shape? More Jewish education. I understand that we say that, but in this particular case, it's really true. We have not educated a younger generation of American Jews and European Jews and to a certain extent Israeli Jews, and we have to change all of this, which is really why you're here tonight. The work that the David Project is doing is not just important. Those of you who know the American Jewish scene better than others know that there is nobody else taking it on like the David Project is doing. There are a lot of great Jewish organizations out there, and there's some horrendous ones. But there are a lot of great Jewish organizations doing really fantastic work, but nobody is targeting this, and this is ground zero. This is the battle where it's really being fought. This is the battle for the hearts and the minds, not only of the people who will be the leaders of the Jewish community in a generation, but the people who will be the leaders of this American community in a generation. Because there's a secret out there. Not all the students on college campuses are Jewish. And some of those non-Jews do very well in life and go on to Congress and all sorts of very important things. This is a battle for the hearts and souls and minds of everybody who's going to run this country and other countries. This is where the battle will be won or lost.